All right, people. Most of you know me as Pretty Boy James. You know what I'm saying? My name is James Gwynn. Uh, briefly, before I start this, I'd like to, to go ahead and pray because, uh, so let's just jump right into it. It's about this dream I had last night. Actually, it was more like five in the morning, but dear Heavenly Father, we just, I just want to pray that your Holy Spirit be poured out upon all those who listen. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that in these times, time is short. We know that the enemy is working ever so fiercely to pull us back into our sin. Dear Heavenly Father, we know, okay, that your word is everlasting, that it will never pass away. We know that the Bible is true, okay? Everything about hell is true. There is nothing that any of you can say, do, laugh, any of that. There's nothing you guys can do, okay, to change my mind about what I know is true. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into it, okay? Last night I had a dream. Anyone who knows me knows how I am. Whenever I get something in my head, I've got to talk about it. You know, in this dream, we were gathered around. It was me and a whole bunch of people around my age, okay? We were gathered around and, you know, everyone was, it seemed like they were gathering around me, okay, and I was speaking with these three women, okay, I don't remember exactly what the conversation was about, and I've had dreams similar to this before, but last night this one was crazy, okay, it all happened so fast, I don't even know if I can call it the rapture, but I was speaking to these three women, alright, and, uh, you know, the one in the middle, uh, apparently she was telling me, you know, something like she had heard me, overheard me say something, and she was coming back to me with the confirmation. You know, she was letting me know that what I had been telling her was actually true. You know, and uh, my attention never dropped off of this person who was speaking because apparently what she was saying was important. And everyone who was surrounding me was kind of focused on me. It's almost as if they were waiting on her to say something, and then they were waiting on me to reply. They, they wanted to know what I had to say. You know, um, in the dream, this girl had a boyfriend. You know, uh, and, and also, another point, what I got out of the dream is that in it, everyone was worried. They were focused on the wrong thing. Everyone was worried about what was going on in the here and now, right in front of, you know, and they're also trying to work, you know, but, but my main thing is it's not about what is going on right now. Okay. It's about what's going on in heaven, if that makes sense. You know, God is pouring out his spirit. Uh, the time is coming. Uh, something big is about to happen. It's right around the corner. We all know this. Okay, look up September 23rd, August 21st, Rapture Dreams. It's happening all over the world right now. Um, I'm not the first, and I won't be the last to put something like this out. But anyways, you know, so in this dream, this woman, you know, she was telling me about these things, and I was like saying, yeah, you know, I was focused real intently on what she was saying. Everyone else that was surrounding me was focused more on my reply, you know, as if they was waiting so that maybe they could, you know, decide whether or not to believe it or not, possibly. I don't know. But she walked away, and even my girlfriend was in the dream, the girl who I'm with now, and she was standing immediately behind me. It was like she was posted up on the bench. She had her hands around me, and I was watching this girl walk away. Now, perfect example of what I mean by everybody was worried about the wrong thing, and I'm not picking on her, but this has just kind of stuck out to me the most. She was worried, my girlfriend in the dream was worried more about the fact that I was speaking with this woman just because she's a female, if that makes sense. You know, but at the end of the day, it was the message that she had for me. You know, that's what really mattered. It had nothing to do with the fact that she was female and I was male. I didn't, I didn't, it didn't matter to me. You know, and that's, people have a hard time understanding where I'm coming from or what my motives are behind it. Guys, this is the Holy Spirit speaking through me. I'm not, I didn't wake up this morning and say, hey, I'm going to do this dream. None of that. Okay. If I'm prompted to do it, 
you know, I've got to do it. Basically, that's how it's going to go down from now on when it comes to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit. Believe or don't believe. Do what you want. But anyways, uh, in the dream, as this woman is walking away from me, uh, you know, point blank being, uh, the message, it was there, it was gone, you know, then what next? What next? What happened next? Okay, I'm... Her boyfriend apparently comes running, sprinting up to her because he was actually about to check some guy that she was standing next to. She walked off and she stood next to this male. This other man runs up and, and he grabs the male by the face. And I, I seen it in my dream where he said, you know, don't you be standing next to my girlfriend or don't you be talking to my girl. Immediately worried about the wrong thing. Okay, and that's basically the point that I'm trying to get across with you guys. That you guys are worried about the wrong stuff. Because immediately after that, I turn around and I'm like, look, see? I'm talking to my girlfriend at this point in time. I'm like, look, she has a boyfriend. And then that immediately, you know, I did that only to simmer her down. Because she was worried. Because my, I, my focus wasn't on her. It was on this other woman. Immediately following as all this stuff transpires, uh, blackness fills the sky. And if you've ever seen any a movie with like uh, amoeba or like bacteria, you know how it multiplies. It goes from one to two to, to four to eight to you know eight times eight is sixty four, and just like, it, it was that fast. In the same amount of time that I had to look up and notice how quickly this stuff in and we were all in shock and on. And as soon as we saw it, you know, I was like, I'm out. And everybody took off running. Everyone scattered. Okay. Now, assuming we were in like a park area. Okay. My car was probably like, I don't know, I'd say 200 feet away in my dream. And we had to run across this basketball court. As I'm running away, I'm like, all right, on that note, I'm out. In Jesus' name, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? I take off running. And I keep on looking back. It's multiplying so fast. It's this darkness in the sky out of nowhere. Like, like it's as if everyone was waiting on me because they knew that I saw it coming. You know, that's basically why they were surrounding me. You know, they wanted my insight. And then the whole time I'm like, no, don't focus on me. Focus on Jesus. You know, but nobody wanted to listen to me. This stuff is coming, multiplying so quickly in the air above us. I'm looking back and it looks like I'm looking through a stethoscope at bacteria multiplying. But this is happening in the air. Okay, immediately I get to the car. Everyone is running, panicking, rushing, screaming. And I'm the initial thought was, this is going to happen so fast that it doesn't even, what's the point of even running? Because when it ha it's going to happen so fast that if you are not watching, if you are not ready, if you are not saved by Jesus Christ and his blood, you won't even know what hits you when this stuff goes, when everything hits the fan and it goes down. Honestly, I I'm not even joking. You know what I'm saying? You won't even know what hits you. Yes, I'm always going to have to be the one to tell you what you're not going to want to hear. I'm not, you know, I'm not... I have no authority over anybody. You know, this is a message, and I'm simply a messenger. And you can shoot the messenger if you want to. It doesn't matter to me because I'm done. I'm done smoking cigarettes. I'm done smoking weed. I'm done drinking. I'm done having sex outside of marriage. I'm done uh, lying, disrespecting, stealing, all these things. You need to check yourself because if you don't hear, if you don't, you know, don't take my word for it. Just get on YouTube and look up people's testimonies. God is warning you. You know, people even want, oh, how do you know God is real? You wouldn't be watching this video if God did not send me, send this message to you through me. And I promise you that. If you're standing before God and there's, and you're like, oh, I didn't know you were real. And he going to say, what about that video James put out? He going to say, what about that video? You know, and, and what are you going to say? nothing just remember that it's your free will you have a choice okay laugh all you want to scoff all you want to at this point in time these things don't even matter anymore 
shit. We got Lil Uzi on stage. We got we got Usher out here giving people herpes. We are so infatuated with Cash Me Outside Girl that we got grown men trying to holler at her. She's not even 15 yet. You know, the world needs to literally sit down, open a Bible, pray, do something, and we can we're only gonna be able to tell you guys to do these things for so long before it just it's just too late. Yeah, be scared. Because it's not my wrath that anyone's gonna have to worry about. It's God's wrath. You know, in the in the dream, the only thing I knew was that it, this was going to happen in a matter of seconds. In, in the amount of time it took me to skirt across that, that lot to the car, this stuff had quadrupled in size. It started as a little pin, and I don't know what that means. All I'm saying, I, in my dream, I, I, I just assumed I was waiting on God to come out of the sky and start zapping people out of existence. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was my dream. Uh, even I was running. You know, I took off talking about in Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Like I literally took off, uh, in prayer, <sighs> you know, I even, it just, it's crazy. It was wonderfully horrific. It was, it was the most amazing thing you ever seen, but it was still the most horrific thing you ever saw at the same time. You can't describe it. There's no, there's no picture you can paint, but like the way this stuff came out. Oh, and then at the very end, out of the corner of my eye, a big, bold scripture came out of this blackness and was right there and printed inside of the sky. A big, and it had something to do with curses and intel, like like the 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 curse of man is the intelligence or something. But it was a scripture that was that was. I need confirmation. Uh, when I get confirmation, I'll you know have my confirmation. But I've seen the scripture before. But, but it, it, it was clear to me in the dream that everyone will be able to see this physically in the sky when it goes down. It's not going to just happen in the spirit realm. It's not going to just happen, you know, on one side of the world. It was apparent to me that when this stuff, when, when this, this blackness formed a scripture in the sky, it was a scripture straight out of the Bible and everyone could see it. And I was so panicked, you know, I kind of wish that I had actually focused more on what it said. But immediately I turned to the crowd as I stopped. I seen the scripture pop up and I said, it's true. And then a blockage came in my throat. Okay. And then I, 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 as hard as I could, I said, it's true. And then as soon as it came out, as soon as the word it's true came out, I jolted awake. Immediately told my girlfriend about it, um, you know, and, you know, what else can I do but share this? You know, I would not be putting this, you know, you guys know how I am. I would not be putting this out if it didn't mean something. So think about it, you know what I'm saying, pray, uh, God bless, uh, but we do not have much time left. We've been saying, everyone's been saying it, Jesus, he's been dealing with me, you know, because even I... You slip up. Even I, you know, uh, fall short. But I promise you, if that when you if you are if you have a spot or blemish on you, when he comes back, you will be left behind. So, in Jesus' name, I pray blessings to all. I pray that this message re reaches you, and I pray that you know I just. May God have mercy on all of us, man, because, I mean, we already see what the world's coming to. You can't even talk about homosexuals without the whole world getting offended. You know, like, everyone is so caught up in the here and now that we don't stop to think for one second, where are you going when you die? And uh, my thing about, you know, for atheists, you know, if a Christian's wrong, that's cool. The atheists know that we're just going to go to the same place the atheists go. But if the atheist is wrong... Where are you going to go? I don't know. Anyways, I'll holler, guys. God bless.